G'day guys, I've uh, just picked, uh, well I've just had this delivered, I found it on uh, eBay. It's a uh, Formula One 97 on the original PlayStation. I've got it running in the PS3 down here at the, um, at the moment. And uh, I got it because I just wanted to see some of the old tracks and drivers that were in the game. Um, this was the first Formula One game I played when I was younger, so I, I thought I would show you guys what's in here and how it's changed. All well, the circuits at least. Um, so we've got Melbourne, which we know has been the same for ever well as long as the Grand Prix has been run there so that's the same uh, layout sorry while I get comfortable uh, there we go so that's the same layout uh, Inter Lagos is the same uh, Buenos Aires obviously isn't on the calendar anymore uh, Imola well we all know about Imola uh, Monte Carlo which is the same uh, Barcelona this one just doesn't have the nice little chicane down here to mess us up anymore that one's uh, in its original configuration uh, Montreal, which I think turn one up here is a little bit different um, to what we raced the other night, uh, just last week. Uh, Mangy Core, which is off the calendar now because it's too fucking far away from anywhere. Uh, Silverstone, it's in its original layout, um, so now it, there's technically the last turn of the lap now, and it sort of comes up this way and goes around and comes back down to Luffield and stuff here. Um, so that's cool with like the the bridge and stuff. It's cool to drive that. As it used to be, uh, Hockenheim with all the the long straights and the tiny little um, uh, chicanes to slow you down. All this section is the same as it is now, the last part of the lap. Um, but now it sort of comes up and goes around this way and down here, and yeah, um, so that's the way that is now. Um, Hungaroring, Hungaroring's the same uh, configuration. Uh, Spa, which I think the bus stop chicane might be a little bit different in 97 as to what it is now. I think it goes left right and then comes around rather than just a right left. Um, Monza, which now instead of a uh, right left chicane at the end of the main straight, you might be able to see it. There's now like a left right left right sort of deal before the Curva Grande. So that was weird. Uh, the A1 ring, which is still in its normal layout, and we're going to race in a couple of nights' time on Wednesday this week. Uh, the Nürburgring, which I don't know why it's got the Netherlands. Oh, it's the uh, I guess it's the European Grand Prix um, for 1997. But there's Turn One, and yeah, that's a little bit different to what uh, we're used to. Instead of it coming around all this way and then back down there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Suzuka, which I think spoon curve might have been changed ever so slightly. Actually, what's what's this? Oh no, that's that's all good. Uh, Estoril, which we know from the uh, classic races that we used to do. Hereth, all oh, this part of Hereth's a little different than what we're used to, I think. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that was interesting. Um, these are some bonus tracks. I don't know where the fuck this is. Uh, Megatron, you might be able to have a look at uh, that layout and recognise it. But uh, this looks like the main straight, and then it goes on from there. So be interested to know if that's an actual track. Uh, this is Adelaide. If you look at that name spelled backwards, you get Adelaide. And uh, so obviously, I mean, here's the turn eight that the supercars keep brushing up the wall against and getting messed around. Uh, but yeah, that's in a configuration different to what they race now. Um, this one's name is Bonus Backwards. And again, I've got no idea what that's supposed to be. So again, if anyone has any idea, um, if you've been watching F1 a while, I'd be interested to know. And 60s, which is uh, just Silverstone, but in black and white and grainy. And you know this is a PS1 game, and I'm running on the PS3, so it's you know pixely as hell. Anyway, I've actually got a bit of a headache from driving around a few tracks on it. So yes, that was interesting. And I just oh, back, I just wanted to show some of the drivers for you know what do you call it um, nostalgia's sake. So Benetton and Gerhard Berger and uh, Jean Alessi. And we've got uh, Johnny Herbert, who was commentating on the weekend for Sky in the Red Bull Sauber with Nicola Larini. Um, Schumacher and Irvine, of course, in the Ferrari. Uh, Olivia Panis and uh, Shinji Nakano in the Prost. Minardi's in there. Yano Trulli and Ukiyo Katayama. This was a few years before Weber um, would join the grid. Uh, Ralph Schumacher and Giancarlo Fisichella for the Peugeot. Is it like a Jordan? I think it's a Jordan. Um, Rubens Barrichello in the Stewart with Jan Magnussen, whose son nearly raced for McLaren yesterday, Kevin. 
Um, that is, what's his name? Billy Bonus is the code I put in to get unlock those uh, unlock those extra tracks. Uh, Pedro Diniz is his name, never heard of him. With Damon Hill in the Arrows. And Hacken and Kiltard, of course, in the McLaren. Uh, that is Jacques Villeneuve, but he didn't give permission for his name to appear in the game. So they had to call him Driver 1 Williams. And Heinz Harold Frensen. And Joss Verstappen, whose son Max, uh, done a decent job yesterday in the, the Melbourne race, of course. And Mika Salo with him. And then I think we're back to the start. So yeah, that was just an interesting little, I, I found it interesting at least, seeing all the old tracks and uh, the old drivers from back in 97. Um, I won't actually be playing the game because as I said, it gives me a mad headache um, because it is, yeah, pixely as hell. But yeah, it was just cool to uh, sit here and feel a little nostalgic for old F1 games. So yeah, there we go.